Alright. Okay, we're... Alright. Alright, we're back at Oradev <laughs> on the stage for the community cast. And I have another Oradev speaker here with me this morning. I'd like to introduce you to. So we have Siren here. Thanks for joining us. Siren, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, my name is Siren. Mm -hmm. I am the Chief Security Officer for a digital medical company called Mindokto, which is based here in Malmö, Sweden, where we do contacts between patients and doctors via a mobile app. All right, that sounds really interesting. I've enjoyed kind of hearing about some of the different industries that are here in Malmo. It's nice to have a local speaker here. So you have two talks at yes. Oradev this week, Internet of Things and... Uh, Internet of Things and security. And security. Yes. Yes, so you're a security expert. So you I got am. two of these sessions, one on the Internet of Things and security. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? What are some of the things that you're going to cover in that talk? Um, we're going to, or we, I, <laughs> not the royal we, um, are going to be talking about what are the security implications of the Internet of Things. Mm -hmm. um, everybody kind of knows about the Mirai, the distributed denial of service attack that hit out Krebs, uh, Krebs on security. And ironically, uh, a little town in Finland yesterday was also kind of crushed by a, denial, a distributed denial of service mm -hmm. attack. Um, so I'm going to be talking about the security implications of those items and kind of how we can work with the Internet of Things and keep security in mind. Okay. So if you're building systems, things to keep in mind exactly, to build exactly. securely. Right, okay. And then your other session is? is? Is building security into the service development life cycle. Yes, I always get the words backwards. Building security into the development life cycle. Yes. Okay. So how, how I work with developers and testers to keep security within the development life cycle rather than just hiring a pen tester at the end of the sprint mm -hmm. and just kind of hoping for the best. Okay, so, so what are some of the things that you recommend there for people to do? Yes. Um, to look at security as, as a whole rather than just as a pen, penetration test at the end. So looking at bringing security into the requirements and also looking at safe coding practices and actually having testers that do security testing all of the time rather than just at, at the end because security is above all things a team sport. So I would say the largest security weakness that most organizations have is that assuming that one person, generally myself, or someone else with my particular skill set, um, can do everything. And that's just simply not true. Okay. So rather than bring security in as an afterthought, it's really thought of as a vital uh, part exactly. of building the product and vital team member exactly. all the way throughout the life cycle. Exactly. Well. That sounds like a great <laughs> methodology to employ. And I know too. I'm hearing every day some kind of a security breach. And yeah, we talked a exactly. lot about so. privacy here this week. So it's a really important topic. So hopefully folks can check out your sessions. And so being a local, maybe I thought I'd ask you as well, what are some of your favorite things about Oradev? I know you speak at many conferences around Europe. So what, what are some of the highlights of Oradev for you? What makes Oradev special? Um, I think because it is a local conference, so you know a lot of the people that show up, which I think is really yeah. interesting. Um, I've spoken here before, so I have a lot of people that come up and remember my previous talks and have actually like started to do some of the things I've recommended, so actually being able to see people grow. Because sometimes you go to a talk and you don't know anybody, so you kind of walk away feeling like, shit, did I actually make a difference? Whereas you come here and you can actually speak to people and you realize that, you act, that speaking actually does make a difference, and I really mm -hmm. appreciate that. Cool. So I know I've really enjoyed it. This is my first time here, so it's nice to meet some new people like yourself. Thanks Thank for you. taking the time to talk with me and share a little bit about your experience and your talks and what makes Oradev so special. Thank you very much. Okay.